Merry Christmas, and welcome to Granville United Methodist Church. My name is Ryan, and I'm the pastor here, and it's my joy to welcome you to our online Christmas Eve service. I join you virtually this evening from Manger Square in Bethlehem. This year, we are offering two different opportunities for Christmas Eve worship. In planning for Christmas Eve this year, in the midst of these unusual and challenging times, I found myself craving a taste of life as it was before the pandemic and as it will be again soon. So we'll be offering an enhanced encore presentation of our 2018 Christmas Eve service entitled One Story. If you have little ones with you tonight, we are also offering a 30-minute children's Christmas Eve worship service produced by the Michigan Annual Conference, featuring 26 families from across the state sharing the ABCs of Christmas. Both services will include the lighting of our Advent candles, and singing Silent Night by Candlelight. So if you received an Advent kit, I invite you to pause the video here and find those Advent tea lights in your handheld candles, or to find candles of your own so you can join in the celebration. Back in 2018, we hosted a special Christ candle lit from the site of the manger here near the Church of the Nativity in Bethlehem and passed from church to church across the world. This evening, the churches of our own Midwest district have prepared a virtual passing of the light of Christ as we begin our worship together. While they were there, the time came for her to deliver her child. And she gave birth to her firstborn son and wrapped him in bands of cloth and laid him in a manger. Tonight, angels far and near sing tender lullabies. Well-worn fabric full of years holds in the warmth of parental love. Animals and shepherds crowd in tight, glowing with adoration, while a muffled cry squeezes out to greet the world. Tonight, we give thanks for every child among us. Each new birth, regardless of circumstances, reminds us of the preciousness of life, the potential of tomorrow, the promise of God. On this Christmas Eve, we light the Christ candle for the child King, the infant Redeemer, the lowly Lord. And now we know he is born and nothing will ever be the same. Welcome to the Children's Christmas Eve service. Today, Christmas Eve, is the meeting place between heaven and earth. God's love comes down. God's love is born today in Bethlehem, in an out-of-the-way place which no one ever thought to visit. There, God kept and keeps a promise. There, God arrives. Together, we will share the ABCs of Christmas. You might want to have a piece of paper and crayons or markers so you can draw pictures of the words you hear. When you hear a question, 
take a moment to wonder together. We encourage you to sing or dance during the songs, and we will end by singing Silent Night. You may wish to have glow sticks or candles ready, or sit near the Christmas tree with only the Christmas lights as we sing to focus on and remember the light of Christ. The families in our service are from United Methodist Churches across Michigan. Let us open with prayer. God of Christmas Eve, we are here to worship you. Open our hearts to love, open our ears to hear your story, and open our eyes to see your presence here in this place. Amen. Now let's continue worship by singing Away in a Manger together. When baby Jesus was born, he was put in an animal trough that we call a manger. So let's sing. Away in a manger, no crib for a bed. The little Lord Jesus laid down his sweet head. The stars in the sky looked down where he lay. The little Lord Jesus asleep on the hay. Let us pray. God of grace, God of the manger, God of the stable, God of the star, we thank you for this night in which you gave us the greatest gift of all, Jesus Christ, our Savior, in a most unexpected and miraculous way. We give thanks for the way that that gift of Jesus changes our every day, transforms our hearts, and transforms our world. We pray that we might live in the hope that he provides each and every day. We pray tonight for our parents and teachers who love us, for our brothers, sisters, cousins, aunts, and uncles, for our grandmas and grandpas who miss our hugs. We pray for the doctors and nurses who care for us. We pray for an end to COVID, masks and distancing. We pray for peace, justice, and equality in our world. And we thank you, O oh God, for family, for presence, for a warm house, for food to eat. We thank you for masks to help keep us safe and for the hands that made them. We thank you for our church family that loves and supports us. And most of all, we thank you for your love revealed to us in the gift of Jesus Christ. We thank you and praise you, O Lord, on this night of all nights. We pray that you might guide us by your grace and keep us in your care. We pray all these things in the name of the newborn King, Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen. As for Angel, Gabriel, who began the story with a greeting, when the angel came to her, he said, Rejoice, favored one, the Lord is with you. She was confused by these words and wondered what, wondered what kind of greeting this might be. The angel said, don't be afraid, Mary. God is honoring you. Look, you will conceive and give birth to a son, and you will name him Jesus. He will be the great, and he will be called the Son of the Most High. The Lord God will give him the throne of David, his father. He will rule over Jacob's house forever, and there will be no end to his kingdom. These were Bethlehem, where our story takes place. People traveled from far and wide to arrive in the town. It was a very busy place. C is for census, which means an official counting of all the people, the reason so many people came to Bethlehem. D is for David, who was and ancestor Joseph. Jesus will be a great person, and God will give him the throne of David. David was a great king. Jesus is the Messiah. He is for Dustin. That's how everyone felt when they arrived, tired from all the traveling. 
I wonder if you can remember a time when you were exhausted. This for our family. Mary and Joseph and the new baby Jesus who was born that night in Bethlehem. In those days, Caesar Augustus declared that everyone throughout the empire should be enrolled in the tax lists. This first enrollment occurred when Quirinius governed Syria. Everyone went to their own cities to be enrolled. Since Joseph belonged to David's house and family line, he went up from the city of Nazareth in Galilee to David's city called Bethlehem in Judea. He went to be enrolled together with Mary, who was promised to him in marriage and who was pregnant. While they were there, the time came for Mary to have her baby. She gave birth to her firstborn child, a son, wrapped him snugly and laid him in a manger because there was no place for them in the guest room. G is for the good news about to be shared with all the earth. This is what was said. Nearby shepherds were living in the fields, guarding their sheep at night. The Lord's angels stood before them, and the Lord's and the glory shone around them. They were terrified. The angel said, Don't be afraid. Look, I bring good news to you, wonderful, joyous news for all people. Your Savior is born today in David's city. He is Christ the Lord. This is a sign for you. You will find a no newborn baby wrapped snugly and lying in a manger. Suddenly a great assembly of the heavenly forces was with the angel praising God. They said, Glory to God in heaven and on earth. Peace among those whom he favors. When the angels returned to heaven, the shepherds said to each other, Let's go right now to Bethlehem and see what's happened. Let's confirm what the Lord has revealed to us. They went quickly and found Mary and Joseph and the baby lying in the manger. H is for the hope that Jesus brings. We know that no matter how hard or difficult life may be, Jesus is with us through everything. I is for imagine. If we close our eyes and imagine the scene, we can see the beauty and wonder of the angels proclaiming good news to all men and women. J is for joy. The excitement and happiness that a new baby and now this special night brings. Let's sing the first verse of joy to the world. Let's sing joy to the world. shown by the innkeeper that night, allowing an entire family to stay in the stable when there is no room in the inn. L is for the love we share with one another all throughout the year, and especially at Christmas. I wonder how you know God loves you. M is for manger. A manger is usually used to hold food for animals, like a cow or a sheep or a donkey, but this time it held the baby because he had no crib. N is for Noel. Noel is another word for Christmas. It means new birth and that's what happened in our story. It happens every year. O is for offering. We can offer our gifts to God every day through our time, talents, and treasure. What gifts can you share? He is for prayer and praise and pondering. All different ways people reacted to the amazing thing that happened. We pray and praise and ponder together. On this holy night, we remember the angels who said, Do not fear. On this holy night, we, we remember the shepherds who bowed down before the baby. On this holy night, we remember Mary and Joseph who had faith in God. On this holy night, we remember Jesus who came 
to save us. On this holy night, we remember God and with, is with us. Amen. He is for quiet. The deep peace that Christmas brings. Knowing that God is with us. R is, is for revelation. revelation. God showing us who God is in a little baby born one night. S is for shepherd. The ones who were first terrified and then overcome with joy as they heard the good news that Jesus was born. I wonder what it would have been like to be a shepherd. T is for trust, the confidence we have in God. U is for unity. People celebrate God's love tonight from places all around the world, including in our homes. V is for... Wonderful! A little child needs to be cared for and protected. That's, That's our job! job. <laughs> w is for wonder. Our amazement at the beauty of how God loves us. Is for Xmas. The X is actually the symbol for Christ. It is the first letter in the Greek word. Why is for you to celebrate the birth of baby Jesus? Z is for zeal. The passion with which we share the good news and God's love tonight. I wonder who you can share God's love with. It's time to get your glow sticks or candles ready to sing Silent Night. Silent Night, Holy Night, all is calm, all is bright, bright. Oh. 
And now go in peace. And may the peace of the newborn king dwell in your heart this night and always. Go in grace and peace to love and to serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Amen. Thank you.